welcome back to another video. It's been a minute. Um, haven't been posting. No, uh, haven't posted lately. Been a little while. So, quick update. Well, not really an update, but so you guys all know my bike, right? Nice, 2021. So my brother just got a bike. 2013 has <clears throat> tall seat, T4 FMF pipe. Not that loud, surprisingly. It looks like it has like a silencer thing in there. Can't really tell. Powder coated rims, powder coated, uh, I don't know what those are called, whatever. Powder coated frame. Um, has a tusk shifter, blue gas cap clean graphics the bars pro taper pro taper bars they're a little forward have to pull them back feels like you're like landing out of forward um what else is there there's nothing really much to know besides the powder coated frame um, rims uh, spokes they're black um very clean runs well looks like it's got powder coated forks didn't even realize that um, tires really nice um, compared to my bike it's like the same thing mine runs a little more crisp just because it's a fuel injected bike and the fuel injected bikes automatically adjust to depending on how warm it is how cold it is the altitude and everything so it doesn't bog ever my brother's does bog a little bit not that much so it's pretty crisp so when you compare these two i mean his bike's a little faster has the pipe and they're just made faster my bike they're both four speed um <clears throat> i for a beginner would probably recommend the honda just because they're easier to work with fuel injected the yamaha i like i like better than cowies um they're faster more torque um just the only problem is, is the carburetor you have to screw on with that all the time so that's why I got the Honda instead of the Yamaha because I didn't want to deal with all that. They are pretty fast, but I don't think it's as fast as the Yamaha with the pipe on it. The pipe just gives it a little more power. But overall, they're pretty good bikes. I'd recommend them over Kawasaki. I just don't like Kawasaki. They never ran good for me. Um, also, I took my DNM shock out because it was 1,200 pounds. I need a 250 pound one. It's coming, it's been on the way for like, should be here Wednesday. It's been, I ordered it like the 18th. So it should be here any day now. But other than that, I just wanted to give a quick rundown of my brother's new bike. And just give basically a review on both of them. I read both of them. Both feel good, recommend both of them. But for beginners, definitely the Honda. Honda out of both of them. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video. When I get the shock here, I'll make a video of me putting that on. And I'll get some clips of us riding soon. And just stay tuned for that. Subscribe, turn post notifications on. Like the video. And see you next video.